Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started we start with the dixie as usual uh, sorry guys for not having a video last week i'm having a little bit of a vacation i'm traveling a little bit so not having my uh, not on my disc to use my pc all the time but uh, here we go again so um, we are on the dixie weekly time frame uh, it is summertime so uh, market used to be a little bit slow these days and we may end up uh, going sideways for a while now maybe until the end of august we will see but all in all on the weekly time frame the dollar did not do much the last three weeks we are going sideways as you see um, if we go down to the daily time frame we start seeing a little bit of a a bearish divergence on the daily time frame here between these highs and these highs on the price and as you see the uh, the rsi is doing the opposite which is a potential signal that we might get one more leg to the downside so in my opinion if 92 down here got broken we might see uh, some kind of a continuation back down toward um, this area down here before before a uh, potential bounce back up so uh, keep an eye on that 92 level for next week uh, as you see here it is um, looking um, as a nice and good uh, neckline here at this uh, area so um, we will see if the bulls will hold this level we might get uh, another bounce here may end up uh, going sideways in this range uh, or if they break above previous high then we look for continuation otherwise uh, with that divergence on the daily divergence on the four hour time frame here as well uh, these are um, potential signals for a, a break maybe to the downside to um, retest this area down here for the dollar so that 92 is very important checking gold weekly time frame looking good on um, the candle here for last week with a break above the pin bar a close above that as well um, so uh, it could be uh, preparing for something we had this uh, bounce at uh, the, the old neckline here that was resistance and support previously we've got this bounce we've got a higher low another break to the upside outside of the range and um, if you look at the four hour time frame you see that range more uh, clearly and uh, the retest did hold above the range so as far as that is the case we might see further upside what you should be doing for next week maybe is watching this upper range for now to see uh, <clears throat> if they're gonna break above that uh, upper range for further upside or if they're gonna go back inside the lower range which means a move back down to the bottom so those are the scenarios uh, on gold for next week in my opinion uh, oil <clears throat> oil did reach the target that we've been ranting about for a while now and that was um, a tag above the 55 area and we've got uh, this uh, move already and in and uh, last week end up to be a hanging man formation a doji and um, yeah from here now things start getting interested interesting we had the uh, divergence we had a nice move to the downside i'm expecting potentially a failure to break a new high here and then one more leg to the downside so watching for that or maybe some kind of a double top here and then one more to the downside so um, the sign for the bearish move would be a failure to break a new high here if they fail to break a new high above this previous high here then i'm looking for one more leg to the downside because i'm seeing this as the first impulse this is the correction potentially and then one more leg down so an a b c d move euro usd uh, checking the weekly time frame we end up with a pin bar here 
uh, all in all still um, not much is happening so we had this impulse uh, three weeks of uh, consolidation almost and if we check the daily time frame uh, the daily move here is still a bearish structure as you see as you see with lower lows and lower highs so there is still no previous high that been broken so this might continue to the downside we need to wait and see what will happen at around the 1.19 um, here if they're gonna break above that and hold above it give us a higher low then we might see further upside otherwise if they fail to break higher i'm expecting one more leg to the downside at least at uh, this area sterling did find support at the level that we were expecting to be a good area because if we look left on the weekly we had this uh, neckline here previously acting support and then the market did dip back down inside this area we were saying that this area could be good support level already uh, and uh, as for now it is holding nicely with a little bit of a bullish divergence on the rsi and uh, seems like this uh, double bottom here is holding well with a break above the neckline actually break and close friday as you see was a huge daily candle on this market so what we will do from here is wait and see what will happen is it gonna give us a consolidation for uh, another move down here or if they're gonna break and hold above this previous uh, neckline to then give us one more leg to the upside to take this previous high so we could um, end up going uh, sideways inside the bigger range or this lower range down here those are the two scenarios and uh, as for now every time we reach uh, the 1.3750 uh, down here that should be a uh, level of interest for the bulls so we should watch here for a potential bounce on this market usd jappy <clears throat> been bullish for a while but checking the weekly time frame now last week candle was um, a big candle to the downside we had a huge divergence on the rsi already at this level so uh, they broke uh, the trend line they broke this potential correction area so we had this uh, channel we've been talking about the slope of this uh, move that it is not um, um, an impulse move more likely a correction move of this leg but it went higher than the previous leg as you see to then uh, move back down so we had a break out of the channel to sit back at that 109.70 area that uh, been a good uh, support and resistance level looking left so it is an area of trouble uh, where the price did bounce back on uh, uh, last friday so we will wait and see here what will happen is it the first impulse to then give us a correction and then one more to the downside or if we're gonna see a strong push a higher low and then continuation higher so all in all 111 gonna be a very important level of interest if the price goes back inside the channel uh, we should keep an eye on this level to see if uh, the bears will be interested also <clears throat> before that we have this area here 110.50 as a also potential level of interest for the bears to push back down on the retest of the broken structure here and the bottom of that channel usd chief also uh, bearish last week uh, checking the daily time frame we had this uh, weird uh, head and shoulder formation the neckline is broken and um, yeah seems uh, ready for a continuation toward this area in my opinion there is not much on the way to hold it there was also um, a bearish divergence here um, as you see so um, yeah my anticipation for next week that we might see uh, a little bit of a correction uh, up again if they fail to break higher looking for one more leg to the downside a retest of this neckline is a potential area to watch for that one more leg to the downside on usd chief usd cad also end up to be bearish on friday checking the weekly time frame we are still looking at a uh, bearish structure yeah as far as this high here is not broken it is still a bearish structure but as i said for a couple of weeks ago that we have um, a higher low here 
that could be a sign that we might start uh, moving to the upside but still no break above previous highs so this higher low is still not uh, enough uh, for a reason to reverse totally yet now if we go to the daily time frame we had this nice impulse we had the correction another higher low here and a break higher so when this happened uh, one should start to being interested to look for one more leg and then up but checking the rsi there is a huge divergence going on here the candle from friday was a strongly bearish one we will wait and see what will happen on this neckline this neckline is important uh, short term level for next week they either hold a support and give us one more bounce to the upside but if they break lower i'm expecting another move all the way down to retest these areas down here on uh, usd cad uh, next week aussie usd um, let's check the weekly on this one holding at this uh, neckline again um, there was an attempt to break lower but the weekly candle end up to go back above support checking the dailies we had a huge bullish divergence on the rsi friday was a nice bounce here from a level of interest looking left but still uh, we are watching um, a bearish market on the daily time frame yeah so it is clear with lower lows and lower highs still no reversal but even on the daily here you see it clearly the bullish divergence coming here on the four hour time frame also we have um, a bullish divergence going on and um, so <clears throat> for next week we will watch this level here uh, point uh, 75 gonna be an important level short term if they gonna hold as resistance and then push back down or if the bulls will manage to break above it to then give us a, a move all the way toward this level this stop here um, so short term uh, on this market um, could end up going in a consolidation somewhere in this area if there is no break below this level or a break above this uh, previous high on this uh, market so we, we may end up getting some kind of consolidation as we had here before keep in mind summer trading uh, is um, slow most of the time new zealand usd also found support at the key area we knew that this level may act as a good support looking left it been acting as a strong resistance here previously then it got tested as support again again and again on uh, friday uh, ending up to being a bullish day um, last friday here with a uh, nice bullish divergence on the rsi um, so for next week uh, we should uh, keep an eye on this level as a good support area and uh, these stops here so it is still in this consolidation zone for now we should keep uh, buying the low selling the high waiting for some kind of a breakout keep it simple guys um, the range is clear here so we should be playing that range until we have some kind of a break out of it so uh, thanks a lot guys see you next sunday bye bye